Hey Japan and Scouters, Justin here. And over these last few days, I've been sharing with you one of my all-time absolute favorite scouting activities. That's right, splicing. So, what is splicing? As we said the first few days, splicing allows us to weave our rope back into itself to make either a fixed end or a fixed loop in it. So, the first day, we started with one of the easiest splices. This is the butt splice. The butt splice allows us to weave our rope back into itself, making a firm end that won't come unraveled. If we were going to compare this to a knot, it would be very similar to one of our whipping knots or a crown knot. So, moving on, the next day we worked on the eye splice. As you can see, the eye splice allowed us to weave back into the rope, making a fixed loop that we could use for pulling or if we set up a block and tackle system, we could even use it to give us some more leverage. If we were going to compare the eye splice to a knot, this knot would be the bowlin or any of our other fixed loop knots. So, there's one splice that we haven't done yet, and I've left my favorite for last. This is the short splice. The short splice allows us to take two pieces of rope and weave them into each other to make one long piece of rope. Over the last few weeks, we've tied lots and lots of knots that allow us to put two short pieces of rope together to make one long piece. Do you remember any of them? The square knot, the sheet bend, the carrick bend, you name it. There's all kinds of them. So, this splice does the exact same thing. It allows us to take two pieces of rope and instead of tying a knot, it allows us to weave them into each other to make that long piece of rope. So, Today I thought it would be great to teach you the short splice. Let's get out our materials. We won't need this anymore. For the short splice, we're going to need, oops, losing that. We're going to need two pieces of rope. As you can see, I've unraveled these two pieces of rope about four inches each. Then I took my handy dandy tape and I taped the end of each one so they don't come unraveled, but it also gives us a nice piece to weave with. Also, I've gathered my electrical tape and my splicing fid. Remember, if you don't have a splicing fid, that's okay. Use a pen or a nail, any short pointed object will work. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to take you down to hand view so you can see exactly what we're doing. Let me get set up and I'll be right back. See you soon, Japeach and Scouters. Hey, Japeach and Scouters, welcome to hand view. So, Let's get started on our short splice. As you can see, I've prepped our ropes. I've unraveled them, I've taped the ends, and now we're ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to interlock these two pieces. We wanna make sure that our pieces are going over and under each other. We never wanna have two pieces from the same rope next to each other. We always wanna make sure that there's a piece from the other rope in between them. From here, Let's take a piece of our tape and right in the middle, let's wrap it around to hold these together so they don't come undone as we're working. So I'm gonna find the middle and I'm just gonna wrap it in tape. There we go, that looks great already. Now, let's pick a side to start with. I'm gonna start with my left side. So let's get our splicing fid and find a piece to start with. Let's start with this piece. So, as we've done before, we want to make sure that we're always going over the piece next to it and under the piece next to that. So, let's take this first piece and go over and under. So let's open our rope up and right down through the hole we made. And there we go, and then let's pull it tight. Now, let's turn our rope and let's focus on this piece. It wants to go over and under. So let's open the rope up again, go over and under. One of the best parts about splicing is as you work on it, each splice uses the same process of weaving over and under, so you'll start to see where these threads want to go. Now let's turn it again. This piece wants to go over and under. So let's open the rope up over and under and there we go we've completed one turn let's keep going so let's take this piece 
it wants to go over and under. So let's open the rope up and slide it through. Eventually, this will become second nature, just like tying any other knot you tie. Let's give it a turn. This piece wants to go over and under. So let's open it up and slide it through. And there we go. And let's turn it. Last piece on the second turn, over and under. Let's open the rope up and over and under. There we go. We've completed two turns of our short splice. Let's do one more. So let's take this piece over and under. And there we go. Give it a turn, over and under. Open it up, and there we go. And give it another turn, and right here, over and under. So let's open up and go right down through. This one might be a little tricky. There we go, perfect. We've completed one side of our short splice. Let's move on to the other side. We're gonna try to do this one a little quicker, okay? So let's start with this piece. It's gonna go over and under. So let's open up and feed it through. And there we go, give it a turn. This piece, oop, this way. This piece wants to go over and under. So let's open up and right through. Let's give it another turn. This piece wants to go over and under. So let's open up and right through. And there we go. We've completed the first turn. Let's keep going. We're going to do two more. So over and under. Let's open it up. And there we go. Let's give it a turn. Over and under. Let's open it up and give it a turn give it a turn and over and under and there we go this one over and under let's open it up and there we go once more we're almost done over and under As I said, I know it sounds repetitive, but make sure that as you're working, you always tell yourself where that piece is going over and under. It'll help you as you learn. Last piece wants to go over and under. So let's open the rope up and right down through the hole. And there we go. Now let's pull it tight. Perfect. This is a perfect short splice. There's a few things you could do from here. If you wanted, you could take some of your tape and you could tape off the end just to keep those ends tight around the rope. It'll look something like that. Or you can leave them just like this. Either way, the knot is just as strong. So, I'm so glad you guys stopped by Handview and learned how to tie the short splice with me. Let's go back to face view, talk for a few minutes, and then we'll be out of here for today. See you soon. Hey, Peach and Scouters, welcome back. I was just admiring this short splice. This is a perfect short splice, and I'm sure yours is too. I'm so glad you stopped over today and learned how to tie it. I'm sure you're gonna find all kinds of places to use it. Remember, anywhere that you could tie two pieces of rope together to make them longer, you could use a short splice. So, over the next 30 days, I hope you practice this short splice and all the rest of our splices, because as I've said, they do take a little bit of practice to get used to. But, in no time, you'll be an expert. So, for the next 30 days when we're stuck at home, remember to stay safe and stay scouting.